number one is Mr. Jimmy Page. Jimmy! He never has a problem with embarrassing himself. He's used to used to be stand up, but this <coughs> will be there will be no jokes today, mate. Eh? This is serious. on body and health. Uh, we've got a very exciting presentation, but uh, I'm going to let the slides do the talking. So. Uh, <laughs> clearly you all have a problem with understanding your brain. This is quite actually a simple diagram. <laughs> um, this is a lateral view of the brain and uh, these are arrows pointing to important parts. <laughs> if you're missing any of these, you're in the right place. <laughs> That's good. If we move on to the next slide. Uh, a uh, retrovirus... <laughs> There's a host of uh, nuclear cells which travel around the outside and this thin membrane is permeated and then there's yellow squiggly things which I'm not quite sure about but that's in the next uh, presentation that I do. <laughs> <coughs> next slide. Uh, understanding the genetic testing of cancer, well it, it's very complex as we can see. Uh, these timelines here, basically, you should just ignore this. <laughs> Too complex anyway for you. Really, it would take a lot longer than the five minutes to bring you up to speed. So, basically, we'll concentrate on this side. Uh, basically, what's happening here is we are getting a somatic mutilation... Mutation, sorry. <laughs> I'm the mutilation. This is a mutation. And, or deletion, okay? So when you delete the mutation, you're left with a cancer. <laughs> Next slide. Now, your immune system... Uh, God, I wish I was immune to some of this. Um, <laughs> Basically, the immune system uh, works as a barrier for germs, viruses, bacteria entering your body. Uh, obviously, very important, otherwise you're all sick, uh, which you know, quite a lot of you are mentally anyway. But I'm talking about the physical here. Basically, um, that is rubbish because I didn't draw it, <laughs> so it doesn't really explain it very well. What's happening over here is we've got what you call antigens and pathogens. And they basically enter the body uh, either through your mouth or through your nose or through any other orifice that you happen to have open. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get sick. You can combat this with uh, antibodies and various uh, other injections that you get and stabbed in the ass of the doctor and all that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, that's a plasma cell. <laughs> Next slide. Okay. <laughs> can anyone tell me what that means? <laughs> An intrahepatic, <laughs> an intrahepatic, <laughs> pneumobilia is a growth on the brain. That's not meant to be there. <laughs> this is what it looks like close up. 
That's a baby, I don't know what that's doing there. <laughs> now, some important uh, facts that you should know about enzymes are um, key differences between competitive and non competitive inhibition. Uh, basically, an, env an enzyme is, uh, has a lot of uh, C's, H's, and O's in it. <laughs> When an O gets out, <laughs> there's no reaction. The enzyme is blocked from reacting with the normal substrate, and you end up with an enzyme with a W in it. Now, <laughs> you, uh, now as you can see, the rate of reaction when the O is removed is accelerated, <laughs> given by this green line. And obviously, under normal situations, the red line is uh, good. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> now, when you're putting a French tickler over your ding dong, <laughs> or as is uh, scientifically put here, covering your captain, uh, uh, never let your captain touch the partner before he is securely covered. Uh, even though it's attached to your body, we are referring to it in the third person here. <laughs> Anyone with detachable penises, this would probably apply. <laughs> Wave it around and touch your partner, you've got to cover it <laughs> um, I don't know how many lubricants you have, but you should use your favourite one. <laughs> now, uh, the only instructions that are actually useful are roll it on. Uh, secret tip? Roll it on. <laughs> Actually, the secret tip there is don't get too excited and finish before you, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, HIV, apparently it means something, but... Uh, HIV in a human uh, immune cell looks something like this. Well, not with text and stuff all over it. Um, it's not green either. Uh, this is a reverse transcription of what actually goes on. Uh, Meaning that this is showing what happens to an immune system when uh, it's in reverse. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> Two more. Two more. <coughs> um, anyway, when we look back at our uh, uh, ancestry, we know a, a great we notice a great change in uh, in our development, and you see here that the. Uh, the jaw has retracted in, the teeth have moved in, the nose has protruded further. We have uh, uh, a less uh, uh, bulbous sort of uh, bone <laughs> above our eyes, and the jaw has decreased further. This jaw we used to be large because we used to like chewing on stuff that wasn't cooked. And, uh, so now we cook our food. <laughs> Don't need the jaw quite so much. Um, basically, these things down here. These are just wanky words to try and confuse me, but what I told you is the real truth. <laughs> um, one last thing. <coughs> That's not normal. 